Are you sick of playing CS2 with your ugly battle scarred skins but don't have any extra money to buy new ones? Or if you like your skins, are you simply looking for a way to earn a few extra dollars? Well luckily, I know an extremely easy method to making money from CS2 skin trading and you can start with just a few bucks. The method that I'm talking about is flipping CS2 skins on bot trading websites and the website that I'm going to use to teach you everything is on one of the most trustworthy of them all, Skins Monkey. Now before I show you how you can easily make your first $100 by doing this, here's a quick word for from them. Today's video is sponsored by Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated trading bot site that allows you to quickly and easily exchange your skins at a fair price. Simply log in through Steam, add your trade URL, and you're good to go. And if you use my code, you'll actually get two bonuses on the site. You'll get up to $5 completely for free on your first trade, and you'll also have a permanent 35% deposit bonus anytime you add balance on the site. Best of all, under the freebies tab, Skins Monkey is always running daily, weekly, and monthly giveaways, so even if you don't have any skins, Skins Monkey is the website for you. So if you'd like to check them out, the link is in the description below. As I just said, if you use code WITTERALLY on Skins Monkey, you get a 35% deposit bonus on the site. Now that's very good and you should definitely take advantage of it if you're depositing money directly, but this isn't always the best deposit method. And this is actually the perfect introduction into teaching you how we'll be able to make a profit on the site. Even though Skins Monkey provides a 35% deposit bonus, most of the skins on the website are listed at above 35% of their real dollar value. There's nothing wrong with this, in fact, taking advantage of this is exactly how we'll be able to make a profit. On average, the prices on Skins Monkey are inflated at around 45% more than their real dollar value. Knowing this, we can do our best to find items to deposit that are inflated at even higher rates so that we make a profit on all of the items listed at a less inflated rate. I know, words can be confusing and it's even hard for me to conceptualize this myself, so let me show you what I mean. This is the easiest way for me to picture it. Imagine I purchased a skin for $100 and the going Skins Monkey deposit price for this skin was $150. That is a 150% difference or a 50% deposit bonus. Now with that $150 of Skins Monkey balance, I was then able to find a skin on Skins Monkey that I could purchase for $145 that sells for $100 on other third party marketplaces. That is a 145% difference. This would cover my initial investment and still leave me with $5 on Skins Monkey, meaning that we made a profit. Of course, this isn't exactly how it will work out, but this is the easiest way to picture it to help you understand why you would profit on items of a less percentage difference than what you deposited at. If you're still confused, that's okay, just keep listening, I just wanted to give you a somewhat basic understanding of the concept. So now that you understand the concept of what we're going for, let's go over exactly how you can start doing this. The first step that I recommend doing is creating a spreadsheet where you can record the percentage differences between the skins you have in your inventory and the deposit value for them that Skins Monkey provides. I'll leave a link to my spreadsheet template in the description below. Once you have a spreadsheet though, the first step is going to Skins Monkey and having a look at the prices that Skins Monkey offers you for each of your items. Then head over to your spreadsheet and record them. After that, using a resource like Price Empire, which scours the web for all third-party listings, record the lowest listing price for each of those items. If you decided to use my spreadsheet template, the percent difference column will then auto-populate for you once both prices are recorded, telling you which items are worth depositing in green. If you decide to use a spreadsheet of your own, the calculation for the percent difference is just the Skins Monkey price divided by the third-party price multiplied by 100. Now, if we take a look at my completed spreadsheet for the 22 skins I currently have in my inventory, you can see that some of them are highlighted in red. This is because I recommend only depositing skins at above a 148% difference since this will make profiting much easier and much more consistent later on. Now let's assume I deposited all 14 of the skins in my inventory above a 148% difference. The real world total value of these skins is $345.55, but after depositing them on Skins Monkey, I'd be left with a balance of $531 and 18 cents, which is a percent difference of 153.72, meaning that anything we buy below a 153.72% difference, we will make a profit on. Before I show you the next step and the best way to find skins to buy, it is very important to note that the fees you incur while buying these skins on other sites will cut into your profits. For example, if you were trying to purchase an item to deposit on Skins Monkey from CS Float and you had to deposit money on Float to do so, the minimum deposit fee is 1.5%. So just keep that in mind when buying skins and doing your calculations. Also, something even more important to note is that the cost to buy a specific skin on Skins Monkey is not the exact same amount that they'll offer you to buy it from you. For example, it costs $49.45 to buy a StatTrak Factory new USPS Black Lotus from Skins Monkey, but they only offered me $46.15 for one that I own. So don't use Skins Monkey purchase prices while trying to find skins that you should deposit. Instead, use skins that you already own for accurate numbers. If you don't own any skins and you need to buy some to start, maybe 
maybe ask your friends to check how much their skins are worth on Skins Monkey so you know what's best to buy. I'm giving away this field tested AK 47 Legion of Anubis. To enter, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave any comment. Now, once you've successfully deposited skins of a high enough percent difference and have a balance on Skins Monkey, the next step in this process is finding skins to purchase to make a profit on. As I said earlier, let's assume we deposited the 14 skins I owned above a 148% difference. This means we would have a Skins Monkey balance of $531.18 to work with. One very important tip that I forgot to mention earlier is that unlike every other marketplace, Skins Monkey doesn't charge extra for special features of an item. For example, as you probably know, really low float skins or skins with expensive stickers usually fetch some overpay. But on Skins Monkey, you can find these special items for the exact same price as every other version of the same skin. That's why when we're looking for the best skins to purchase, it is very important to search by lowest float. This will ensure that we see skins with the lowest floats, increasing our chance of finding great deals. After sorting by min float, what I like to do is set a price range. For now, I'll just set my max price to $531 since that's how much I have to work with. Obviously for you, just set the max price to whatever your balance on the site is. Before I start price checking these items to see which have the best percent differences, it is important to have another spreadsheet where you can record that information so you can easily keep track of potential purchase targets. Again, I'll leave a link to a purchasing template in the description. From here, simply scour Skins Monkey looking for good deals. Another helpful tip while looking for those deals that I often use is to set the exterior. In the factory new range, you can often find ridiculously low float skins in the double or triple zeros which are usually great for profits. Outside of this, you can also set it to minimal wear in search of skins in the .07 range or to field tested for skins in the .15 range. Those are usually the best money makers for me. Within a matter of seconds, I was able to find this .15 flow M4A4 buzzkill in the field tested section. This thing costs $10.51 on Skins Monkey, and after I price checked it on Buff163, I found that I could easily sell it for $8, and that's being conservative. It's important to note, I still often price check things on Buff163 because I find it to be the quickest and easiest, but I also recommend price checking on websites like CS Float for even more accuracy. After throwing these numbers into the spreadsheet, you can see that the percent difference is 131.38, which is amazing. So if I subtract this from the 153.72% price difference I deposited at, we'd get a rough ROI of 22.34% on this item, which is amazing. And it's literally as simple as that. All you have to do to accumulate profit is search through Skins Monkey a few times a day to find items with great deals like this. The reason that I titled this how to make your first $100 flipping CS2 skins is because I think this is one of the best methods with the least barriers to entry. As I'm sure you can tell by the buzzkill example I just showed, you can literally start this process with just a few dollars in skins. Obviously though, the less money you start with, the longer it will take to build your profits. But the point of this video isn't to teach you every single thing there is to know about CS2 skin trading. Instead, it's just supposed to be an easy introduction into that world so you can safely start to make money on a small scale as you learn more. As a matter of fact, this is actually one of the easiest starter methods to making money from CS2 skin trading, but there are many more. If you're interested in learning some of those methods, or simply want some extra tips, click the card on screen now. It's my complete guide to CS2 skin trading, and it showcases some of the best methods you can use to profit. And if flipping CS2 skins isn't your thing, and you're more interested in just getting new skins or trading your old skins out for fresh ones, Skins Monkey is still an amazing website for you. To trade out your old skins for new ones, simply add the skins you want to get rid of to your offer, and add the skins you want to receive, and hit trade. Then just accept the offer, and you're done. It's as simple as that. The entire process takes less than a few minutes. Oh, and if you don't have any skins to trade, but you want to purchase something you see on the site, you can always deposit money with a number of payment methods. And if you do this, make sure to use my code WITERALLY for a 35% deposit bonus. Plus, with my code, if you're a first-time user, you get up to $5 extra completely for free. Also, if you ever have any trouble with anything on the site, Skins Monkey is there for you because they actually offer 24-7 live support where they can help you through anything. To get there, from the homepage, just click Help Center, Scroll down and click live support 24 seven. But with that, I'll catch you in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll like this one too. Oh yeah, and YouTube told me 75% of you aren't subscribed yet. So go thumb wrestle that subscribe button down below.